Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you what I'm packing for Destination Star Trek, which is this weekend in Birmingham. Now, last year when we went, Tim came along and we had a really big duffel bag along with the garment bag. And in that big duffel bag, I had like three pairs of shoes and casual clothes and like everything you can imagine. Tim's not going this year, which means that I had to curtail what I took because I have to carry it all. <laughs> um, the other funny thing is, is Tim will joke with me that I can pack us for two weeks in Germany into a rucksack and yet like a convention and it's loads of stuff. But anyway, so my first bag is this Cabin Max um, folding garment bag that I used last year. I like this bag for conventions. I dislike this bag basically only because I am a short person and by the time I get this bag folded in half and zipped and then on my shoulder, it's really big. <laughs> so a taller person would probably love this bag, although a taller person and your clothing might fold at the bottom because I barely have anything folded up at the bottom. So you know, you're mildly, so you know, I mean, there's, there's swings and roundabouts and whatever. Um, it works. It doesn't, yeah. But anyway, um, so that's my only complaint about this bag. Other than that, I absolutely love it to pieces. Um, it's perfect for conventions because it keeps like seven, I've got like seven hangers up here. So perfect. But anyway, let's talk about what's in the bag. Uh, so in this top mesh pocket, I just have, I've got my swimsuit just in case we go swimming and I've got some casual clothes because what I plan on doing in the mornings is getting up, taking a shower, putting on some casual clothes and then going down for breakfast um, and then after breakfast, coming back up to my room to change my costume because I figure that way that keeps my costume nice and neat. In that same van, I also have a pair of Skechers along because I can slip those on to go down in the mornings. That's, um, probably won't wear these during, at the convention, but I wanted something again, so I didn't have to throw my boots on basically. Uh, this top pocket up here just has some face wipes. It has some Listerine Go Tabs, which I found those in boots uh, during the week. And they are basically, you um, chew it, it turns to liquid, you swish it, and then you swallow it. And I thought, oh, that'd be pretty good to have for like meeting the guests, especially if you just had coffee or had lunch and you need to have fresh breath. So I thought that'd be great. And then I've got some of these eye masks that came in my birch boxes. Because again, um, since there's going to be a couple of late nights, I thought, well, if I have like a little 10, 15 minute in the morning to depuff my eyes. Oh, excuse me. I've got the hiccups. Uh, depuff my eyes, de-stress my eyes. Perfect. So I've got a whole bunch of those. So if anybody else wants an eye mask, let me know. And then we unzip it. Well, I already unzipped it, but in the main section of the bag, we have this uh, Gonex uh, compression cube, which has the under petticoat, under petticoat skirt thing for my Beverly dress. I have my tall boots. Um, they're in plastic bags just to keep any dirt that was on the bottom of them from getting on anything else in the bag. And then stuffed inside the boots, I have these plastic bags. Um, each one is labeled with the outfit and then it has in it the underwear, the like um, under shorts or whatever, um, socks and all of that that I need for each outfit. I did this last year and it worked out really well because all I had to do was grab the appropriate bag in the mornings and I didn't have to like fumble to look for the correct pair of underwear or the correct pair of tights and things like that. So it worked out perfectly. And then in the top part of the bag, I've got a bag of extra tights because I might need those if we're going out in the evenings because I'm not gonna wear tights during the day, but I might want them in the evening. So I've got tights and then my pajamas are there. I've got a bra there and my sewing kit there. I've got two additional t-shirts to wear. So I've got my some Starfleet Captains, Mary Chief Medical Officers. Hashtag Picard needs Bev. And my I Love Nog t-shirt, because we love Nog. And we're hoping to do something for Nog um, in remembrance of Aaron, I, of, of Aaron, but um, I don't know yet what we're doing. So I've got the t-shirt along for when we do that. Um, next, you can see this is a jewelry organi hanging jewelry organizer for your closet. And I'm actually using this, obviously, to organize all my com badges and extra little tiny accessories and things like that. Um, I figure this was easier. Last year, I used like little organza bags, and that was fine, and it worked out really well. But this year I thought this would be just easier because it was also easy when I was packing because I knew at a glance what items I had. So it uh, works out perfectly and you may be able to tell what my costumes are based on my badges. Who knows? And then up here there are all of my costumes. I'm not going to flip through because, well, they're clipped in place and that clip locks in place. So um, suffice it to say there's like seven or eight hangers in here because I've got loads of clothes. That's coming along on this trip. So let me get this bag shot real quick and then we'll go into the other bag. 
And then shoved into the front pocket of the purple bag will be my bag full of hashtag the card needs Bev badges. And they're only going in there so that way they're easy to reach. If I see anyone before I get up to my room to drop my bag off, I can hand them a pin if they want one. So if you want a pin, come see me. So this bag is my Five Cities um, wheeled suitcase that goes with me on most of my trips. Um, in it, I've got some bubble wrap just in case I need that to bring anything home with me because I figure bubble wrap will be hard to get at the convention itself. I have a folder here which is decorated with a whole bunch of comics and inside the folder I've got some pictures and a comic that I want to get autographed and then I'll also use this to keep the pictures I get with the guests um, safe from folding. So I've got that in there. Uh, this side, I've got my makeup, um, because, again, I decided this year I was just gonna go a bit, I don't want to say lighter, I mean, well, yeah, lighter on the makeup and just kind of not be as bothered with having loads of makeup products, because while I did use them last year, it just felt like it was overkill. So I'm just taking the Complexionista kit, the Vanity Flare eyeshadow kit, and the World, uh, World O Blushes, uh, blush block from Benefit. And then in here, I've got my Anarchy and Gables book, uh, because LeVar Burton said he'd sign my favorite childhood book. It's falling to bits. I could have him sign the newer copy that I bought myself to replace my originals, but I kind of really want his signature on the original. So taking that along, because he'll probably laugh at it. I mean, why not? Uh, this is all snack food. Um, these are, f I got these for free off of a Facebook ad to try. So I'm going to take those along for afternoon snacks and then just like a whole bunch of other like snacky type foods to throw into my bag um, because I forget to eat at conventions. So I want to make sure I have enough snacks to get me through the convention and not like basically, you know, uh, collapse from not eating, especially if I'm going to be drinking gin in the evenings. I've got a big zipper bag to put my dirty laundry in as well as additional plastic bags in case they're needed for anything. Ronin is up there because it's not a Star Trek convention without Ronin. And then this side has my toiletry, hanging toiletry bag, which has everything else that I need in it. The only thing that's not in here is my hairbrush. I must remember to pack my hairbrush. Um, I've got my little fold-out hairbrush, which will come into the convention with me in case I need to fix my hair before a picture. But that's not very good for daily use, so I want to make sure I grab my hairbrush. Um, mental note, take your hairbrush. Uh, this side has Cards Against Humanities, which we've renamed Cards Against Trek because there's um, 50 Star Trek related cards that my friends on Twitter and I have created. So that takes up one whole side of my bag. And then up here, this is a pair of those snag tights, um, anti-rub shorts. I don't like them. Um, for one, they're way too big on me. They come up to just underneath my boobs, which is fine in terms of like having that support, except for the fact that there's this big old seam that runs down the center of them, which then shows through all of my dresses that I've worn it with. However, I'm taking them along in case I need them as an extra pair of shorts for underneath one of my dresses, and also because it works as padding for my Jordy headband that I made to go with my um, sort of Jordy homage costume and I have my DSLR in here because Patrick Stewart is going to be there and I want to take pictures. I also have my big old zoom lens which is like a 450 zoom lens and it's inside a tin cup simply because that would help to stabilize it and keep it from moving in my bag. Don't really need the tin cup for anything because I'm assuming my hotel room will have coffee cups, but um, I'm just using it to keep that safe and secure. So I've got that. I've got my pop-up brush, as I mentioned. I have left some highlighter um, right in there. And then underneath this is just some blush brushes and, uh, and things like that. Uh, and that is, I think, everything. So the only thing to do is to still decide what handbag I'm taking, which will be a backpack or my messenger bag, and I have to decide if I'm taking my laptop. So inside that, like, handbag type thing will be, of course, my purse, and it will have my tablet, my Kindle, my charging cables. It will have Mini Bev and Mini Picard. They they are going, trust me, right now they're on the desk, so um, they're not in this room, but they're going. <laughs> uh, so Mini Bev, Mini Picard will be in there, and probably whatever else I feel like throwing in at the last minute, because you know me, I'll remember things at the last minute that I need. So uh, thank you for watching, guys, and I hope that you enjoyed this. Bye!